On September 30th, 1955, about 20 miles past the wineries of Paso Robles, the young James Dean was driving his car. In the late afternoon, at the intersection of what is today Highway 46 and 41, his vehicle collided with another. He did not survive. James Dean Memorial Junction keeps a memorial to the late actor. The event reminds drivers on Highway 46 to keep their headlights on for safety during the day. Insufficient visibility may have been a factor in the 1955 crash. We stopped less than one mile west to a memorial located in the parking lot of the Jack Ranch Cafe in Cholome, California. The beloved movie star only had three films to his credit. Yet today, everyone knows his name, and this is a place where people stop to pay their respects. We are at the James Dean Memorial, uh, what is it, statuary, or the highway junction where James Dean in 1955 passed away in a horrific car accident. I'll come over here, we'll check out the memorial, I'll give you a little tour. Oh, he's born in 1931. He was 24 when he died, yes. Ridiculously young. Uh, his mechanic was with him. He survived the crash, he got catapulted out of the spider, the Porsche spider. And he actually survived the crash with multiple injuries. So I think they had an account from him, you know, what really happened that day. If, if he could remember, I don't know what kind of injuries he had. And the, the student who is from uh, a college in this area, the one that um, hit them because he didn't see them. Apparently it was twilight and it was hard to see this little, little Porsche spider and he didn't see him and he hit him and James Dean passed away. Don't know what happened to the student. His name was James Byron Dean. He was an actor. He died just before sundown on September 30th, 1955, when his Porsche collided with another car at a fork in the road, not 900 yards east of this tree. Long known as the tree of heaven, he was 24 years old. Aside from appearing in several Broadway plays, he starred in three motion pictures, East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause, and Giant. Only Eden had been released before his death. Oh, that's right. I remember reading that. Yet, before he was in his grave, James Dean was already a legend. Every day, somewhere in the world, at a cinema or on television, James Dean lives on. Cinema is no longer just celluloid. Every day, we find reminders that Drama of James Dean is the theme that we live. James Dean is one of the most iconic actors in history, and his legacy continues to live on. Dean made an enduring impact on the movie industry. He's remembered for his free spirit and wild energy that earned him the reputation of a rebel. He turned down some of Hollywood's biggest roles to pursue more challenging and creative projects. This attitude endeared him to fans worldwide who still idolize him today. Across the parking lot, the Jack Ranch Cafe was still operating during our visit. However, since our drive down Highway 46, we learned that this famous cafe too has reached its final chapter. So it's the only post office in the area. It's not even a it's not even a building, it's just a bunch of boxes for the residents of the area. To 
too young. Way too young. Despite a career cut short far too soon, James Dean made an unforgettable impression on America and movie fans everywhere. Nearly 70 years after his death, he is remembered as an icon. We just stopped at Jack Ranch Cafe, which has a memorial of uh, James Dean, the actor, um, that was put up by some of his fans and did learn a couple things that yep. the only movie that was released before his death was um, East of Eden. Yeah, I didn't know that. And then the, the two, the other two that were um, he had done were still not released. Yeah, so Giant. I didn't know. Giant one. and Rebel Without a Cause. Yeah. And I think Rebel Without a Cause was released first and it was so huge. It was so big because um, he had died. Right. And, you know, everybody was aware of that. So, And they're further down to the east, which we're going in the opposite direction, but... Further down to the east is the last stop of James Dean, where he stopped at a little merchandise store and bought an apple and a Coke. Mm -hmm. So, but we're gonna we're gonna go the opposite direction. Well, th there is a myth that James Dean was speeding, and and there was a myth he was going over a hundred miles per hour. But apparently, that myth could possibly be very false because um, the accident analysis says that uh, he was going maybe about 55 but that's enough to kill you when you're not wearing seatbelts mm -hmm. in a small little Porsche spider so he was going about 55 but when you're getting hit hit you know pretty much at that speed somebody's coming out and you hit something it, yep. you're a goner in one of those bizarre twists of fate September 17th 1955 was almost two weeks before the accident. Dean filmed the 30-second commercial for the National Highway Safety Committee, stating at the end of the commercial, take it easy driving. The life you may save may be mine.